little guy. And at least in the early goings, no lane appears to like get completely uh, dominated here. Definitely the mag uh, is ahead of the, the Tidehunter too. Okay, but actually looking for that catch now for a punch down on a no-tail. This would be big and mind control. Able to draw first blood. Curl goes down afterwards, but that's great. I had to wait for that voice line. It's too good. <laughs> Classic. GH. Man, the new mill it just does so much damage. Oh, oh but Soxa, maybe going to go down afterwards? No, they can't. The strength of this Nyx Assassin, just being able to sort of survive passively with all the regen he's got. Yes, the one good thing for... Oh, they're going on to set bottom, but he looks to be turning it here. Okay, a chance. Right clicks coming through. Spike Carapace, Soxa down low. Can't get through those trees. The right clicks continue to come through, and they'll find that kill. Up top, they were going as well. GH does fall, and LTW going to TP back home. Uh, look in the dire jungle. Uh, there are a lot of stacks over there. Bushwhack in the meantime down bottom, uh, trying to go for some type of a play here, as Roar has already been committed, as well as the Furion ulti. Chasing down, trying to find a kill. A lot of armor on Seb, taking the tower hits. Punches in, the bushwhack afterwards, trying to find a finish, but the turnaround, impale as well as the earth spike, they find one kill and they TP out with the other. Seb getting slowed down and the body plucks coming in from the tree, seeing if they can find a, a chase down and they're going to, look at these body blocks, just encapsulated in the trees and GH is the one that cleans it up with the perfect micro and perfect play. They managed to bait in the Beastmaster under the tower. They get this huge turnaround, and that's a missed timing for OG right there. God, look at this oh, they're, farm, They're going though. mid. Yeah, I mean, Sumail's getting this farm, but as you said, going in mid, trying to take down one. Kuro down low. Going Thunder, not going to get thrown. Oh, my God, the sidestep. Soxa goes in a bit too deep, gets punished by Miracle. Tops it now, trying to get the finish off there and will be able to secure it. And you, you can see just surrounded here by three different heroes, but they can't make any type of a move. Mind Control throws it out. Roar is there, but the Impale comes afterwards and Seb in trouble, going to fall. They get his creep too. Sort of outstratted OG in this game. I mean, there's a lot of stacks that OG took, but just the fact that you cannot take your enemy oh. safe in tower if you're take, playing Beastmaster. Oh, GH. Oh, the stun afterwards, Kuro. Finds that kill. Sumail might be able to play a little bit of cleanup, but taking it's yeah. I, I I think that this TA. I mean, granted, not a ton of stacks being taken for him as uh, they do find LTW and in some trouble. The drums don't know if it's going to save him here. Roll back through. Does a little dosi -si do. Hides away. Shukes it out and try to TP out of there. Can they escape? Now the bushwhack came through for the finish. Um, in a lot of the timing that he's looked for, but right now, God, he is so far behind the TA. Almost 3,000 gold. And they do finally bring down the Tide, who's playing too aggressive, and they catch bottom. Yeah, this is the most important objective for OG's lineup. They, like, Chen doesn't have purpose if this tower is alive. They just would never take mid tower uh, either. But Nygma, look at the response. Oh. They're just going straight into Roshan here. But they haven't, they haven't played against Beastmaster in a while, and this Hawk... This Hawk, they, they've got full vision right now. They know what's going on. Can they get there in time to come and contest Seb? Moving in, wants to hit it. The Impale is out though. Miracle could finish off Roche, but instead turns to try and take down that Beastmaster. Right clicks coming through, he falls. So Roche still available will be taken. The rest of OG is trying to make the move over here. They jump out of the pit. Thompson going for the roll through, but Refraction is up for Miracle. He's fine. Trying to burn through it right now with that Tornado. Get brought down low, but not low enough. The good stun coming out from that centaur, but the rabbit, that's the better stun, takes down Thompson, turns on to no tail, four go down. Like once. Okay. <laughs> I think I feel like it can't be that bad, but it always feels so bad to do it, so you never end up doing it. That's fair. Uh, I guess particularly on the, the NP, but maybe this is the first game for it. Kuro off in the, uh, the lonesome area, manages to actually throw out those axes without breaking the tree. OG are out of this game. They have right. the tools to win this game, as you always do when you have a Magnus lineup. If they can land a good sharpshooter onto Tidehunter, maybe burst him before Ravage, I could see them really dominate a team by Miracle mid, though. He's getting rolled on. Yeah, Refraction burned through and didn't get his blink out in time. Good Impale afterwards. Miracle trying to live, but that's Aegis down. A rare misplay, but my control. 
trying to catch up with this one. Blinking in, looking for anybody. The spill from those side blades doing a lot to no tail. Die. Magnus needs someone to like sort of give him space in the fights so you can get a good RP off. And like, same for Pangler and Chen. They can all run in first. So a cool read for Sox here, but ooh, they're close. Looking for it. They saw this smoke, but they were not able to respond appropriately. Seb trying to slow him down a little bit there. Mind control. Look, see the, the strength of it. Um, probably in these next couple fights with all the Zeus summon that they've got. ILTW scouted out there. Axe is coming. Soxa tries to connect. There's a catch. Doesn't have BKB. Doesn't have a way out. In some trouble. Team trying to get there to help him, but it is going to be too late. So efficient. They're so quickly. We're going to see how close this is, but it, it might have been almost dead at this point. And now they have enough time to get in position. Sentry Ward is down. Looking for that opening. They spot GH now. Ravage comes out. It's on all of them. Good BKB afterwards with the skewer out and away. Meanwhile, the roar comes as well. ILTW still living. Goes for the sprout to try and buy a little bit of extra time. But Seb in the pit, super down low. Can't quite find that kill. They buy back on the Chen. ILTW inside the pit now. Still managing to live. RP going to be interrupted. But a triple kill for Soxa. This Hoodwink is doing so much. And with no more Nature's Prophet now, they actually have an ability to take down Roche for themselves. I can't believe it went like that. Wait, how did they lose the fight? I don't know. Toss available now with the mags. They have some like sort of lightweight initiation to come out. Enigma, no Ravage at this point. Seb gonna be found, Impale afterwards, trying to bring him down low, can they go for the kill, all the way, right clicks, but the roar, he gets away on nothing, 11 HP, he will eventually die, meanwhile though, the RP comes out, it's gonna connect on the phone with the rolling thunder, back onto them, they blow up the nature's prophet and that Nyx assassin, mind control, has to get out, trying to escape, but the horn toss pulls him back in, and they're going to eventually, well, no TP out, mind control, oh, it's not quite enough, Soxa Toss able to find the finish, and Kuro gets taken down by Topson. <laughs> Moving up to the top side. There is no ward in the area Dirt. for Nigma, but OG have a ton of vision. And they're smoked up on Nigma here. They have the Blink Ravage. Looks for it, jumps forward potentially. It comes out, they find that hex. BKB out from Seb, gets caught. This is up to one, and Topson able to get out of there just barely. He gets the roll off. The rest of them trying to run away. The Ravage has already been used to mail. This is on that skewer back for anybody here now. Uh, Thompson is so low. He's got to run, looking for the side blade still, but it's not going to connect. BKB out now from Sumail, trying to hit from the low ground. Thompson, he bashes Miracle, disarm afterwards. The BKB comes out, trying to find something here, but the bash again, and then the RP, the bash, the disarm, the RP, but Curl tries to salvage it. Follow up instead coming from GH. Do they have enough damage? Miracle, he needs another reflection, but it is not going to come out. No refraction left. ILTW gets taken down for the kill. OG somehow pulls something out of nothing. They have the follow-up as Kuro is going to get ran down, killed off. How do they keep winning these fights? For even more reduction. There's just too much tankiness and healing coming out. Well, and, and I thought they wouldn't like that. Like, you actually... It's so important in the past, and... Well, feeling like it's important in this game number three here as well. Trying to stay alive in the upper bracket. Looking for we'll a oh, to Miracle. What? Disarm is there. Miracle gets roared. Sumail there on top of him again. They got him caught. He is dead. The dive bomb into the roar. Curl goes down afterwards. Those hawks are dangerous. And they take down the tier four towers afterwards. They gotta bring heroes home. Look at how quickly these tier four towers are going down. They get buyback now on the TA. He got potentially one more shot. Oh wait, he got hit by a sharpshooter. Goes down, has buyback afterwards. They need to buy back on everybody. You have to fight right now. Ravage is up, but OG, they're gonna retreat. They get away again. 22,000 gold. Oh, they're thinking about the fake back. They're ready. You wanna see some things? RP into skewer, into centaur stomp. Never mind. centaur is dead. Rip the Hawks, dream. Son. Looks for it. Okay. ILTW didn't pop his BKB. Horn Toss pulls him back in. ILTW in no man's land, going to get absolutely murked here. Pops the ulti, he knows he's dead. Now the turn, pulls back Miracle, trying to find that kill. Can they do it as they run him down one by one? OG, they can sense it. They want to continue on in this upper bracket, but you can see they're still playing it safe. Seb. Nothing for two buybacks on Nigma. That's fair. Ah. 
and this is exactly what uh, the way that you want to go. But with all their ultis back off cooldown again, gotta be wary of these pesky birds dive bombing in and finding that short stun that allows the initiation afterwards. Horn toss pulls back one, two. Big old jump there. Kuro in trouble. Ravage with the BKB reaction immediately there. Miracle got his BKB off as well. The RP comes out the one to three, tearing them apart. Oh, and just like that, OG, I set on the tier fours. That's GG. They got a date with Tundra.